So today we're going to make the super light what Logitech should have done and we're going to make it the ultra light here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through and mod this mouse. We're going to take out as much weight as we can, swap batteries, chop bits out of it, get it down to a good weight. As you see here, 50 grams is our target weight. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that while still keeping it looking stock. Now, if you're not familiar with my channel, it provides statistics and data that's going to give you the competitive edge on other gamers here. Things like creating yourself lighter mice, getting better latency, better switches, things like that. Now, if you need to know how to tear this mouse down, there's another video I've done where I compare this against the standard G Pro Wireless. So go and check that out, I'll put a link in the description here. I'm not sure how to take it apart. I'm going to go through and weigh each part here as stock and then what it's going to be after stock so you can see which bits you want to take out or not yourself. Now a few tips here is one to keep checking it against the base and also against the top shell to make sure you're not cutting bits out that you wouldn't want to normally do and that would stop it from working here. I'm going pretty extreme here but I understand this skeleton pretty well. I've done a lot of G Pro wirelesses even though this is a super light Logitech I've really done what I've already been doing for a long time here. One thing to notice be very careful with the ribbon cable. The buttons here are very delicate as well. I have broken this and I'll be doing another video showing you how to change these out. When I was live streaming this on Twitch and the bearded Bob did break those switches. These videos are all done on Twitch as well. So if you want to follow me on Twitch and not miss the next teardown, make sure you get subscribed. So moving on to the main shell here. As I said, we want to keep this look in stock. So I'm cutting out a few little clips on the side here because these aren't required. You stop it flexing, but even now it still doesn't flex. And then trimming out all these extra runs where Logitech have added it in to prevent it from flexing and to give a bit more rigidity. And again, like I said, even on this shell, the shell doesn't flex. Once it's on the base, it's perfectly fine. If you want to go really crazy, you could actually drill the shell like I've done before on other G Pro wirelesses. I can take out about two grams, maybe three grams here. Won't give you much, but it'll get it down certainly into the, the mid 40 grams. So what we have to also do is a battery mod here. Battery here is using the standard 240 milliamp battery and we're swapping it out for a 3.7 volt 100 milliamp battery. This gives me about a week's gameplay. This one gives me around three weeks with the um, RGB turned off. So it's up to you if you want to change this, but this will save you around two grams. If you want to know where to get all these bits from, I'll put a link in my description for my shop and the bearded bob, all my tools are in there and things like that and all the parts I've been using. So you can get your own as well if you need to. So now let's take a look at the base. This is usually where a lot of the weight is. I'm trimming out the power play button here and the slot as normal. Let's get rid of all this. Logitech seems to have thinned out the plastic a bit on the base. It's not as thick as the stock, but it's still pretty sturdy once you trim out all this extra weight. Now you don't have to take out these extra pieces on the base here. It takes out about an extra gram in weight here to you. You can just take out the power play button if you wish. One of the things to note here is I've already taken out the power play magnets as well. I've done that on the teardown.
just going to put it all back together. You'll notice here the keen eyes of you that's using Kalith 8.0. So I'm going to be doing a video on that to see how well they perform against the 4s and the 2.0s as well as some other switches. So keep an eye out if you're not already. Subscribe, make sure you are so you don't miss that because it's going to be good. Now I don't use all the screws here. I put all four in the PCB on the switches because I don't like to mess around with that. And then I use four in the base with two in the chassis. Let's use a bit of M3 tape here just to secure the battery here, double sided. Again, like I said, just be very careful of the ribbon cables here and connecting them back together. They are slightly smaller on this version, they look super light compared to the stock G Pro, which are always delicate, so these are even more delicate. We're also going to drop some stock hyperglides on here because I'm not a fan of the normal skates on this, the bigger skate on the front. I've done a video comparing the glide here against the stock. Keep it a while, so go ahead now and check that out. It's quite interesting to see what the difference is here, especially if you're wondering how well it will glide. And that's it, 50 gram G Pro Wireless, the one Logitech should have made. At this point, boys, you could have made it slightly lighter, but you never did. I did for you, though. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you again soon. Catch you later. Bye-bye.